Mathematics can be learned through hands-on activities. Dear students, you must have studied about various geometrical shapes in your classroom. Do you know what is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a closed figure formed by four line segments. Dear students, today we are going to explore the properties of diagonals of different types of quadrilaterals through an activity. For doing this activity, we require certain materials and the materials are cutouts of geometrical shapes, the quadrilaterals which we are going to explore, a pair of scissors, some thread, a sketch pen and a ruler. Let us start with a parallelogram. We have a parallelogram with us. We will name this parallelogram as A, B, C, T. First of all, we will draw diagonals. We will join the vertices BD and AC. BD and AC are two diagonals of the parallelogram A, B, C, D. The diagonals of a parallelogram intersect at a point O. We know that diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Let us verify this. We will take a piece of thread equal to the length of AC. Take a thread and cut it. Now, divide this thread into two equal parts. What we are going to do is, we will see whether AO is equal to OC. This is a thread half of AC. And we observe that it is completely covering AO. Now, we will take the same thread and put this thread on OC. It is completely covering OC as well. This means AO is equal to OC. Now, let us do it for the another uh, diagonal that is BD. We will take a piece of thread equal to the diagonal BD. In the same way as we did for the diagonal AC, we divide this thread into two equal parts. Let us see whether it covers OD and OB. We observe that the thread equal to half the length of BD completely covers OD. Similarly, we will do for the other part of the diagonal that is OB. Yes, it is completely covering OB as well. This means the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Now, we will verify the properties of diagonals of a rectangle. We have with us a rectangle A, B, C, D. We will draw the diagonals by joining the opposite vertices that is B and D. It is the first diagonal and the second diagonal is A, C. What are the properties of diagonals of a rectangle? Diagonals of a rectangle are equal and they bisect each other. So, let us verify this. We will take a thread equal to length of BD. Now, we will see whether it covers the diagonal AC. Yes. 
it is covering the diagonal AC. This indicates the diagonal AC and BD are equal. Now, the two diagonals are intersecting at the point O. We have to verify that diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other also. We will take a thread equal to length of AC, divide it into two equal parts, the way we did for a parallelogram. We know that rectangle is also a parallelogram, so this property will verify. Yes, half of the thread whose length is half of AC is covering AO. The same thread is covering OC. This means AO is equal to OC. Similarly, you can verify OD is equal to OB. So, we have verified the properties of diagonals of a rectangle. Now, we will consider a rhombus. In a rhombus, we have taken a rhombus cutout and the name of the rhombus is A, B, C, D. Let us draw the diagonals. You know how to draw the diagonals. Just join the opposite vertices. What are the properties of diagonals of a rhombus? The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other and they bisect each other. So, let us see whether they are perpendicular to each other. We will take a set square and we observe that angle DOC is 90 degrees. Angle BOC is 90 degrees. Angle AOB is 90 degrees and angle DOA is also 90 degrees. So, diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other. Now, they bisect each other also. You can verify it by following the same process. Take a thread equal to length of AC, divide it into two parts and verify whether the length of AO equals the length of OC and length of OD equals the length of OB by taking a thread of length BD. Now, we will see the properties of diagonals of a square. We have with us a square cut out and I am naming it as ABCD. We draw the diagonals BD and AC. The two diagonals, they meet at a common point. We are naming it as O. What are the properties of diagonals of a square? Diagonals of a square are equal. Diagonals of a square bisect each other and diagonals of a square are perpendicular to each other. Can you verify them on your own? Just try this using the same process by taking a piece of thread and a set square. Now, we will see what happens in the case of an isosceles trapezium. This is a cutout of isosceles trapezium. In this isosceles trapezium, we have AB parallel to CD and the two sides AD and BC, they are equal to each other. We will draw the diagonals. We join the vertices B and D. The first diagonal is obtained and we join the vertices A and C to get the second diagonal. The two diagonals meet at a point O. Let us see what is the relationship between these two diagonals. So, we have taken a thread equal to the length of diagonal AC. Let us check whether it covers BD or not. BD is the 
other diagonal of this isosceles trapezium. It is observed that the thread equal to length of AC completely covers the second diagonal BD. This means the diagonals of isosceles trapezium are equal. Dear students, you can verify the properties of diagonals of different types of quadrilaterals through such activities.